My name is James Ketchell, and I'm an adventurer. In 2010, I rode across the Atlantic solo. In 2011, I summited Mount Everest, and in 2013, I cycled 18,000 miles around the world on a second-hand bike. Whilst I'm currently the only man to have ever completed all three of these feats, not all of my adventures have quite gone to plan. The man and his partner were pulled from heavy seas 11 days ago and taken to safety by a ship. Conquering land and sea have been the most challenging and brilliant experiences of my life. But there's still one more great unknown I have to overcome. The sky. Over the next 10 months, I'm attempting to fly a gyrocopter around the world. It's a risky expedition, one that will leave me exposed to the full force of nature, take me to politically unstable regions, and bring me closer than I've ever dreamed to some of the planet's most breathtaking scenery. This is going to be the adventure of a lifetime. Before I can take to the sky, I've got to make sure I've got an aircraft that can handle a punishing 30,000 mile round trip. When you're flying for the best part of nine hours, you may have set off in beautiful weather, but it may not be so beautiful where you're, you're going to land. And these are all things that are, are outside of my control that you have to be able to deal with on the go. I've travelled to Milan to meet with Luca, whose world-renowned team are busy putting together the finishing touches to my gyrocopter. How are you? Uh, nice to I'm meet you. I'm very excited. I have not been able to sleep. Very good to see you. You're very nice to see you. Come on, let's go, go. Oh, wow. Very, very nice. Hey, guys, James arrived. Hey, how's it going? Nice to be here. You okay? Good. I like it. We push a lot to be able to fly tomorrow. Yeah. Finger crossed. And now <laughs> we can push forward. We have some delay because some configuration is standard for your uh, special trip. You know? yeah, this is a special <laughs> trip, move, isn't it? We move forward <laughs> for sure. This is going to be a 10 month trip to fly around the world. So I'm setting off from Popham Airfield, and the route will take me out through France, Italy, uh, across the Mediterranean to Egypt, uh, then out through the Middle East uh, towards India. Uh, then out towards Asia, uh, from Singapore, I'm going to fly across the equator in the air, and then I'll come back and land in Malaysia, and then I'm island hopping through the Philippines all the way up to Japan, and then I go north into the Arctic Circle in Russia, across the Bering Straits into Alaska, down into America, back up into Canada, uh, Greenland, Iceland, Faroe Islands, and back down to Scotland. It's a long way. Also inspecting progress in Milan are my flight instructors from back home, Steve Boxall and Andy Jones. There have been three previous serious attempts to get around yeah. the world, so you're the fourth. Yeah. And you know things are going to go wrong. You know you're going to have problems. It's actually how good you are at recovering from those problems that Absolutely. make the difference between success yeah, and yeah. failure. When he first came to me, you know, I wasn't sure. I've got to be honest. I think you've got the experience and the drive and the skill to make this really work, you know, so... Yeah, I really, that. really Thank pleased. You. The thing that's impressed me most about James is not the fact that he's climbed Everest or cycled around the world, but that he's rode across the Atlantic. And to me, that is mentally impossible. So he's exactly the right guy to be flying long legs across massive oceans on his own this tiny little speck in the sky, you know, in, in this massive world. Every time he lands, he's going to be a completely new place, new people, new circumstances, with a different set of logistical challenges to address. Whether it's just getting fuel or getting flight permissions, he's only going to be there potentially for a few hours, so he needs to rally support while he's there, get the help he needs and get moved on. When I first started learning to fly, I was really surprised at actually just how tiring it is flying. Just the levels of concentration. If you make a mistake, you're dead. With the engine test complete and gyrocopter assembled, it's time to take it for its maiden flight. The team bolt on the rotors, and it's finally time to take to the sky. This is it.
Luca can fly. The aircraft is set up so well, it's so smooth. This is incredible, I can't wait to fly myself. This is gonna be absolutely incredible. We got it, we did it. Now we have to go and fly around the world. <laughs>